Welcome to section 3, Generating Code. Video 1, Generating Modules. In Angular, like most modern web development, we have a cycle that follows more or less the following stages. Everything starts with app scaffolding, generating the first project that we can use as a starting point. After the initial scaffolding comes the cycle of adding features, testing them, and finally releasing them to production. This happens in a repeating cycle during the rest of the app lifetime. Now that our app has been scaffolded, let's move to the next stage. We'll be using Angular CLI to add new features to it without having to write a bunch of boilerplate. Let's look at the different application features we can generate. As a sample project, we're going to build a simple app. Here's how the app works. The goal is to have a list of TV shows you want to watch. You can search for a show somebody told you about and see if you think it's a good fit. If you like it, you can add it to your list. When you're done with it, you can remove it from the list again. We will get data about the TV shows from the TV Maze API, which is free and doesn't require a developer account to use. Angular CLI can generate many different features. Each one has different options, but the generation always starts with the same command, ng, generate, then the name of the schematic, in this case, module, and then the options for that schematic. In the case of most of them, the first option will be the name. Modules are a convenient way of separating reusable business logic. Let's create one to group the code that deals with the TV Maze API. Let's run ng generate module TV Maze. Just like when generating our app, Angular CLI lists the changes made to the files. Right now, it says it created one file for us. Let's check what's in there. And here we have it. A new directory containing the module definition has been created. Notice how generated modules are not imported into the app module automatically though. Since we're going to be accessing services and components declared in the TV Maze module from the app module, let's add that import now. Great, now we're ready to add our code. Let's see what other options we can use when running ng generate module. Some of the most useful options for module generation are flat, which is a boolean, and by default it's false. If you set this to true, the module file will be created in the src slash app directory, which is considered the root of our application. The routing param, which is also a boolean and by default false, can be set to true to ask Angular CLI to generate a routing module. This is one of the options that we also get when we generate a new app from scratch using ng-new. And we also have the module option. This option can be used to ask Angular to actually do that import that we just had to do manually. If we run the same command adding dash dash module app, it will do exactly the same thing we just did manually. Let's generate another module and test these options. Let's name it another module. Let's ask for routing, set flat to true, and set module to app. As you can see, the module now, it's not in its own directory. It's at the root of the SRC app, and the app module has been updated to include that import. This way, we don't have to do it manually anymore. 